on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's so simple. Anybody can get saved. Come to God as who you are, as a sinner. And be saved by grace. For by grace are ye saved through faith. If not of ourselves. At least any man boasts. You're not going to approach to God on what you are. You're going to approach to God as Jesus is. Holy, righteous, the Lamb, the sacrifice approved of God, the glory of God, the sinless one who is God. And life comes through Jesus. It's to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Anything else is condemnation. Everything else will be rejected by God. When Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. It's plain and simple to believe. Jesus is that access to get to heaven. And without Jesus, you will go to hell. Because you have chosen to reject God's love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God's glory is Jesus. And the glory of Jesus pleased the Father. And if your name is not written in the Lamb's book of life, it can be written down today. And you may not have this afternoon to do it. Salvation should and ought not to be put off. It's to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Nothing. Nothing else will God receive or take. Not what you can do. Nothing man can do that can save his soul from a burning hell. When the good news, the gospel, the good tidings are that Jesus Christ came into this world to save sinners. And we are the sinners that he came from. Because the Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And when you come short without Jesus, you will not make it to heaven. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And only by Jesus Christ can you be saved. Only by the glory of God to humble yourself as sinners and to repent of your sins. To enter into God's glory. For by grace are you saved through faith and it's not of ourselves. It is a gift of God. Where the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin. You know, when you work for something, you expect a paycheck. Or you wouldn't be working. You find another employer. And when you sin against God, you get a paycheck. It's called death. And death is coming. It may even be this morning. 
It may be this afternoon. You don't know, I don't know. Nobody knows but God. And if you die without the faith and trust in Jesus, you will die and you will burn in a place called hell for all eternity because you have chosen to reject Jesus when the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It is so simple. A child can get saved and yet you will not. You think something else and everything else is more important. Well, you say, preacher, I'm an atheist. And God says, the fool has said in his heart that there's no God. And when a man goes to hell, you lose your name. And if there are any NASCAR drivers who have died and gone into hell, nobody knows their name, though you wear their shirts. There's no name given to Christ's rejected. And yet the Bible says for those who have believed on Jesus, they'll get a new name and glory. And to die in Jesus, the Bible said to be absent from the body, death, and to be present with the Lord. When you die in Jesus, you leave this body and you're in glory. But when you die without Jesus, the Bible says that he died... And he was buried, and in hell he lifted up his eyes. Being in torments. And the Bible says about that rich man in hell, he has one message to those that are alive. Luke chapter 16. Go and tell my family, don't come here. Your family and friends, according to Luke 16, do not want you to go with them in hell. So don't think, I'm going to party with my friends. They don't want you there. They told Abraham, go send Lazarus and warn them of this place. And the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And Jesus came into this world to seek them that are lost. And without God, without Jesus, you're lost. And today, and today you can know, you can put your faith and trust, for by grace are you saved through faith. It is not of yourselves. It is a gift of God. You can't go with religion. You can't go with good works. And you can't hope yourself to go. When the Bible says the blessed hope is Jesus, Titus 2.13. You will not make heaven without Jesus. No how, no way, no chance. When God has set forth the standard and Jesus said about that standard, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father, that's God, but by me. Those are the words of Jesus. Your faith and trust in Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Oh, I'm down. You got That's it. it. Just come down to the second entrance. You know where the church is?